scuba diver that came out of the sea. And I saw this scuba diver and apparently went absolutely mental. I was excited and eager about it. I was just in awe of it. In a, in a family and, um, when my father was working in a big industrial complex and that was one of my earliest sort of understandings of how the world worked. There's a lot of conversation in the house about the need, the need to be a productive society to make things. Um, so when you are like 1,500 miles away from any other land and if it's a blow, you know, these seas are huge, bigger than a ship. You know, you're, you're on warship and the thing is circling down with us because the sea is that big. You really do get respect to sea. It is the most powerful force. Well, it is, of course, it is the most powerful force. But when you actually hit it and you start being, you know, sort of uh, thrown around in what we, well, feels like a tin can, but it's like a 3,000 ton warship. It's, uh, it's immense. Awesome, awesome is. myself. So some of my experiences include going under the sea off Newcastle in a, in a deep coal mine and uh, actually crawling along the coal base and having the coal extracted and the giant wheels and machines and the, the heat of working down there. Um, this is a giant I walked across that tsunami and when you see footage of tsunamis that don't really ever leave you, it's so frightening and uh, I just sometimes can't imagine that wall of water just coming over before you even have a chance to think it's, it's there and just how petrifying that must be. But I'm, I'm my biggest moment of, of um, sort of awakening to the changes that humans uh, have been inflicting on, on the planet and, and the way we live was to go and work offshore. Precisely 
for it to happen. A storm surge is a high spring tide plus a storm plus heavy rainfall in the preceding days with large amounts of runoff. When all these things come together, that's when we have a real risk for wasting. Wind Wind storm has a pump stage because historically it, it's prone to flooding. So the last floods in the 50s. I live on Island 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 Island, Island, yeah, which is um, sort of one row back from the sea, which has its own issues of gun insurance for your home um, for flooding, etc. But so far, we've had nothing. No, but I was living in Wastable Farm. I think most most of all, I mean, they can look at the risk maps, would, would not be worried about the, um, the, the inundation, um, the potential for inundation. You know, it's quite foreseeable that there would be a relatively contained and relatively localised um, flooding due to, due to a, um, a storm event um, in the section of which the world the maps are well documented. I have to ask before, before the legislation is there, on Sydney Street, which was really quite impacted by the flood, and that was in the late 90s, early 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 90s,
um, during the high tide events to stop the water progressing uh, into the, into the centre of Whistle. I think those, those, those direct weather impacts, with which the world has been dealing with and continues to deal with throughout its you know, history and its, and its future. From last year to this year, uh, we've had a really dry year. Um, and that should be up. There should be 2020 more rain. Met um, Office report on the state of the UK so climate. That's right. It says that it's, it's, again, the it's last 20 um, years are 29 degrees C warmer than the preceding 30 years. That's the average sea so surface temperature. And it says that in here in Whitstable, it was 0.5 degrees higher than 1981 to 2010. We know the sea is getting warmer and the average air temperature is getting warmer. And that's not enough for our species here. And that's why we need to flood the fields. Um, the soil is so dry. Like, we need to do something. 2020 was the eighth warmest year on record for our near coast to sea temperature. So, yes, I have a great span on this earth. I'm, you know, I, don't know, I, don't know, I, do, I feel completely overwhelmed by it. I was looking at the news yesterday, um, I think it's in Bangladesh, that temperatures have gone up to nearly 50 degrees. People, I mean, people just, human beings can't move or exist in that kind of heat. They're just, people just sort of sleeping on, you know, the most shady places they can find, which is pretty much nowhere. Um, 